Hi, writers. So today I want to talk about the five W's. Sometimes as writers, we talked about how we get stuck on things. So we are going to write using the five W's. They're going to help us figure out what to write when we say, I think I've written everything, but did you? So you need to ask yourself the five W's. Are you ready to see what they are? All right, well, here we go. The first W that I want you to think about is who. Who are you talking about in your story? So if you are, say, I want to write a story and I'm writing about my mom, she's the who. Okay, so make sure you tell us who you're writing about. Did you tell us who's there? Okay, you can always tell us who else is there too. And the next one is what? What are you doing? So if I went to go see my mom, that's the who, what was I doing with my mom? Eh, we went shopping. That's what we were doing. Okay, so could I write more? You betcha I could write more. How about when? When was this? When did I go see my mom and go shopping? I went and saw my mom and went shopping this summer. So that would be the when. So I've got the who, the what, and the when. So you see how asking these questions helps us know what to write next. All right, you ready for the next one? I'm going to scooch over a little bit so I don't get in the way of you seeing these next amazing W's. Okay, the next is where. Okay, so I said I went shopping with my mom and it was in the summer. So in the summer, I went shop went shopping with my mom and we went to um, Sam Moon, which is a jewelry store. Okay, that we said who? I said what we were doing, when we were doing it, and where we went. All right, let's see. What about why? Why did we go to Sam Moon? Well, we wanted to go buy some new jewelry and maybe look for a purse. Okay, so we said who was there? I went shopping with my mom this summer. We went to Sam Moon to look for jewelry and a new purse. So see how there's a lot of information you can give if you think about the five W's and it helps you not get stuck, okay? So I want you to help me. We're gonna write a story together and you're gonna help me think of what to write next. So we're gonna always be thinking of the five W's. All right, so let me get my paper and pencil and you help me. So I wanna write about what happened today. Today was so much fun because I had a dog visit us. So I'm gonna write about a dog and his name is Tommy. So I'm gonna just put Tommy, that's who I'm talking about. My dog, it's not my dog actually, it's a friend's dog. I don't know why I would say it was my dog, it's not my dog, but Tommy. But I can't just put Tommy, can I? I need to say what Tommy is doing. Hold on, all right, that's better. I wanted one that didn't have a glare. So Tommy is who I wanna write about. Tommy is a dog. So I wanna say that Tommy the dog is, that's the who, what did they do? Well, Tommy, a dog, the dog, I'm gonna say the, the dog, the dog, came, came, what's making the A say its name? E, came to my house. <gasps> ow, ow, O U says ow. Okay, Tommy the dog came to my house. Okay, that tells me who. And that tells me what they did. They came to my house, right? Or that's actually telling me where, huh? Okay, now what did he do? Tommy played. Tommy played. He played with a toy. Toy. That's what he did, okay? So Tommy is the who. At my house is the where he played with the toy. That gives me a lot of information. I've already written two sentences and I could even write more, couldn't I? I could say he played with a toy while his mom went to church. Yeah, that could tell me um, why. Why did he come to my house? So see, asking yourself these questions, who, what, when, where, and why, lets you think of a lot of things to write. So today when you are writing, I want you to write more than one sentence because I want to make sure you're at least answering several of those W questions. Who, what, when, where, and why? All right, so try to answer those questions. If you need to, write, make a list of the things that you're doing. Maybe get some ideas down before you start writing. That sometimes helps too. All right, I can't wait to hear about what you're doing and I hope you answer all my questions because if you don't, I'm going to ask it in the comments to you. I'm going to say, well, where were you at? Who else was there? So make sure you see if you can write a paper without me having ask you a question. All right. 
So use those five W's to help you write. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.